Uh, our first story is U.S. federal agencies uh, are seeking millions in new funding to bolster the crypto effort. And we've got some good information cutting on this. Now, U.S. federal agencies within the DOJ, the Department of Justice, as well as the Treasury Department, are seeking millions in funding in order to bolster their cryptocurrency oversight and enforcement efforts. And this is according to a review of the latest budget documents that we have available to us. Whether we want to, whether we want to review the the latest budget proposed from President Trump on Wednesday, U.S. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin spoke to a U.S. Senate committee hearing, and he described how FinCEN is gearing up to release new regulatory requirements related to cryptocurrencies, and a budget expansion is a necessary part of their oversight, saying, quote, we want to make sure that the technology moves forward. But on the other hand, we want to make sure that cryptocurrencies aren't used for the equivalent of old Swiss secret numbered bank accounts, Mnuchin remarked, even though last I heard those are in full swing and full effect. On Monday, of course, the Trump administration unveiled their four point eight trillion dollar budget plan outlined in the budget summary is a planned move of the U.S. Secret Service out of the Department of Homeland Security and into the Treasury Department. A move said to expand the Treasury's oversight of the cryptocurrency space, saying, quote, technological advancement in recent decades, such as cryptocurrencies and the increasing interconnectedness of the international financial marketplace have resulted in more complex criminal organizations and revealed stronger links between financial and electronic crimes and the financing of terrorist and rogue actors. The summary document states. Now, a deeper look at the budget reveals several major government departments are vying for the allocation of congressional funds in order to shore up their crypto crypto enforcement efforts. The budget concerns financial year 2021, which begins on October 1st, 2020. To no one's surprise, among those agencies looking for a crypto budget is the Internal Revenue Service. According to the 2021 proposed budget, the IRS wants $40.54 million to, quote, expand cyber and virtual currency compliance efforts, saying this additional funding would support the hiring of 108 special agents to conduct more criminal investigations related to cyber and virtual currency. The IRS wrote, adding that as a result, about 450 additional criminal investigations are projected to be completed from fiscal year 2023 to fiscal year 2025 once the new hires reach their full potential. Additionally, estimates are that as a result of the additional special agents, these agencies will identify $197.3 million annually in tax revenues, either not reported to the IRS or fraudulently refunded by the IRS. So kind of looking for a three to one return. Again, the IRS is there as a tool of the state to squeeze more money out of the taxpayer. So they're saying, hey, if you invest 40 million in us, we'll return 127 million. Probably the number is closer to 250 million, but of course the IRS has to get their pound of flesh. But another department you may never have heard about is the Office of Foreign Assets Control. That's OFAC. Now they operate under the Office of Terrorism and Financial Intelligence, and they are seeking $812,000 to hire four full-time virtual currency investigators, saying presently OFAC has a single investigator focused on the illicit use of virtual currency. And this investigator is often pulled away from purely investigative duties in order to share virtual currency expertise across terrorism and financial intelligence, since this area is of high concern, but also an uncommon area of technical competency. Meanwhile, investigators across most sanctioned, sanctioned programs are reporting increasing exposure to the use of virtual currencies by the targets of their investigations. And then, of course, there is FinCEN. The Financial Crimes Enforcement Network, which is looking for $819,000 and three full-time employees to support building out FinCEN's virtual currency and cyber threat mitigation program. As they explained, the funds are going to allow them to have the international capacity to build in order to ensure that accessibility of critical information exists for investigations that include an international component. Utilization of software tools will allow FinCEN to double the number of virtual currency analyses, corroborate findings, and increase their, their big data analytics cap capability, allowing for automated analytics and visualization of financial and cyber data. Other agencies also looking for additional funding are more independent outfits like the Commodity Futures and Trading Commissions, as well as the Division of Risk and Clearing. 
as well as the Division of Enforcement. Now, the FBI's Transnational Organized Crime Office is asking for an additional $1.5 million to hire six analysts. And in its request, they state that illicit financial networks are inherent to illegal activity and are often at the center of TOC investigations. However, due to the international movement of illicit funds and technological developments, such as virtual currencies, though thorough financial analysis is limited. Of course, the DEA, the Drug Enforcement Agency, is sinking $3.25 million to provide analytics and data support for its transaction-centric investigations. The documents appear to state that the agency wants to bring in two full-time intelligence research specialists, and they're going to be assigned to the trade-based money laundering cases, TBML cases saying a dedicated team will analyze potentially illicit transactions and follow the money through bank accounts, wire transactions, shell companies, and virtual currency transactions. So we've covered this a whole lot. In addition to CBDCs coming forward, in addition to the new IRS guidelines, in addition to the regulatory compliance that we're seeing from exchanges, uh, here's the thing. The government is getting better and gearing up to be able to prosecute virtual crime more efficiently. Uh, However, what I'm going to propose here is that this is a bullish thing, okay? Uh, There are enough institutional investors, professional investors, retail investors, making enough money that the government is paying attention, the market cap is rising enough, that the government is coming in and laying the groundwork, the framework to have the same kind of professional prosecution, investigation, data analytics, regulation, compliance that we have for commodities, that we have for Forex markets, that we have for stock trading. Uh, So the fact that the government is investing the money or potentially investing the money to begin building out the infrastructure for this is an incredibly bullish sign. Although it is negative and especially, you know, uh, you know, hardcore Bitcoin privacy security centric advocates for decentralization will push against this, will push against regulation as they should, because that is that's the drum that they beat. Uh, the, the point that I want to make here is that as the framework is built out for individuals who are interested in number going up, for individuals who want to see Bitcoin, for especially for in- individuals that entered post-2017, individuals, investors, especially retail investors, the large majority of, of you individuals watching right now, you guys want to see the number go up. You guys want to see cryptocurrency, the cryptocurrency markets do something similar to the S&P 500, to the index funds uh, for, that they've done for the last 100 years, which is largely go up and be in a large pronounced bull market, right?